Introducing the world's first three-in-one portable refrigerator, freezer, and integrated ice maker, the EcoFlow Glacier. Before we delve deeper into this innovative product, let's go make some ice. All right, everybody, you're gonna have to forgive me. I uh, just got done with snowboarding. My fashion sense is kind of strange right now. But anyways, we are here out in Big Bear. Here are the Big Bear Resorts just behind me. And I'm gonna show you something really freaking cool. Ta-da! This is the EcoFlow Glacier. It's a high-end refrigerator slash freezer slash ice maker. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. All right, so I have this set to 40 and it's at 39. You can see that it's at 100% because I'm pulling in power from solar. And uh, that's one thing is EcoFlow as a company is all about capturing energy, storing it, and then using it in an efficient manner. I have some tangerine juice and I want to uh, drink it with some ice. So right now we're going to make some ice cubes. That wasn't too bad. says it's gonna take 14 minutes. <laughs> All right, so it's at 99%. Well, let's go see how much the battery drops. I'm gonna switch over to a time lapse. All right, I just heard the little chime, which means that it is done. This button right here. Y'all can see it, there's, oh. I think we're set. Get that ice cubes. So I'm gonna take this clear cup off. So not only is the EcoFlow Glacier the first portable refrigerator with an integrated ice maker, but the quality and use of space is second to none. Here's my EcoFlow Glacier next to my old refrigerator, and you'll see that it is substantially shorter, so you're able to open the lid a lot easier without having to use a fridge slide. Now, when you factor in that the EcoFlow Glacier has portable power pack, which gives it standalone 40 hour runtime without lugging it into your car or using a power station and an ice maker. When you factor that in, that's when you're going to realize you have something special. Again, this is an industry first integrated ice maker, but take a look at that diagram. Look how much space that takes up. Now let's scroll down a little more and take a look at the battery. EcoFlow did a really good job at designing this product. They're a company that continues to innovate and they've been winning awards. I am super honored to have them as a partner or to be in a partnership with them. So let's go over some features. This fridge is 38 liters large. This is enough space to hold 60 cans of whatever beverage you prefer. It could be Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Coors, 
Pabst Blue Ribbon, or maybe even Bud Light if you like to swing that way. It has a super fast cooling speed. It could go from 86 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 Celsius to freezing to 32 Fahrenheit or zero Celsius in just about 15 minutes. The optional 298 watt hour plug-in battery will keep your fridge standalone powered for 40 hours. I personally use my EcoFlow power station to take up to my rooftop tent, power my CPAP machine, recharge my laptop computers, and it's going to be nice to be able to just leave the refrigerator alone powered by its own battery rather than having to either disconnect it or run an extension cord down. The glacier is dual zone, so you can have one side refrigerate, the other side freeze, and you can take the divider, attach it to the lid. I expect that to improve insulation. There's a basket, which is pretty standard with today's portable refrigerators. There's many ways to recharge the glacier. You could use 12 volt, or you could even hook it up to a solar panel or a power station. These handles are optional. I prefer to remove mine, at least the one on the back end. And this right here is a drain. So in case you make a mess inside of your fridge, you could just wash it up and have it drain out the bottom. There's accessories you could purchase. You could add wheels and a kind of a luggage telescoping handle. It would be perfect for taking this thing to a park picnic. The connector on the back is standard XT60. The optional batteries that are detachable are of NCM chemistry. So there's going to be the two types, NCM and LFP when it comes to lithium batteries. NCM will typically pack more watt hours in the same amount of mass, whereas the LFP is just going to last longer. I personally prefer LFP, but I can see why they went with NCM for the battery. But because LFP operates in more extreme temperatures, in hotter temperatures, I would like an option to purchase an LFP battery in the future, maybe they'll offer that. This EcoFlow Glacier is a better fit than my previous fridge. It's a little smaller. The EcoFlow Glacier is 38 liters, whereas my old fridge is 45 liters. But it doesn't seem like it's that much of a difference. One thing that sets EcoFlow apart from some other companies is the app integration. And now it uses Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and seamlessly connects. It's much better than the old version of the app where it only used Wi-Fi. So here I am actually checking on my Glacier and I'm actually able to initiate ice making through this app. I could also set the temperature. So what do you think about the EcoFlow Glacier? Please leave a comment below. How do you feel about the ice maker? Is this something that you would rather have external? Would you rather have a little bit more refrigerator space? I definitely have thought about that. And it doesn't bother me too much because I could actually use that area to hold other gear. Like for example, spices, salt and pepper. So anyways, thank you very much for watching my EcoFlow Glacier launch video.